What we're doing today is what we do. We're making Spars. traditional food from my home country. All right, so something's cooking already. We're making traditional food from my home country and we're presenting it to people that have never tried that kind of food before. So I've got some people coming over. It's currently 4.23 right now. We've got under four hours to cook everything. So we're gonna go starter, main, and just another starter. <laughs> dessert. <laughs> I need to think of dessert. Because we're on such a tight time schedule, this video, we actually need to be a bit more serious. And I think how serious you are is also presented through what you wear. So we're gonna have a quick outfit check. Uh, outfit check? Outfit change. change. All right, three, two, one. Wow, look at that. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our sous chef who's got an apron. Yeah, I feel like I'm a lot more professional. You know, it's got like extra arm stability. Face has got the sous chef apron. Have to earn it. Okay, so on the menu today, we have our starter, which is shorba, which is basically a soup consisting of meat, veg, and bulgur. Our second starter is something called burek, which is made up of minced meat, mashed potatoes, onions, olives, and pickles. And for our main, we have something called tajin zitun, and this mainly consists of chicken, olives, and carrots. Oh yeah, later on in the video, we're gonna have three special guests coming along as well. They've never tried any of this food before, so they're gonna be the judges and rate the food. So yeah, let's get into this quickly before our guests arrive. Okay, so we've got chicken thighs, because we're gonna be making tajin. Yogurt drink. <laughs> Orange juice. Wait, so why are you bringing the stuff that we don't need to cook? Mild and peppery flat leaf parsley. We got. What is this? Tomato puree. Tomato puree. Tomato puree again, but different shape. Oh, damn. We got bulgur wheat. This is. We got bulgur wheat. This is for the soup. Um, parsley. This is parsley. No, this is coriander. And then we got um spring roll. Like basically, you get to. Got courgette, onion as oh. well. We got carrots. We got more meat. I think this is lamb leg. We got chickpeas. We got chopped tomatoes and a bunch of other spices that I'm just gonna put out here. Wait, there's so much stuff, bro. Wowza! It's almost like we're cooking for five people. But yeah, this is what we got. That's a lot of ingredients. We need to get started straight away. Uh oh, the hair's going back. Okay, I think I'm sorted. I feel like a proper chef. Okay, first thing we're gonna start off with is the soup. The soup is a traditional Algerian. Is it traditional Algerian? Yeah. Okay, it's called shorba. What we need for that? Onion. We need this. We need chopped tomatoes. We need chickpeas. We need coriander. That gives it that coriander taste. <laughs> what does the parsley mean? <laughs> parsley taste. <laughs> Look at him go. We've got courgettes, carrots, and bulgur wheat. So we're gonna use these ingredients and we're gonna make the shorba. This is the difficult part. What do we do? Okay, so we've got a pan here. Check how to make it. Okay, so first thing we need to do is fry the lamb with oil and throw in the onion. So we need to chop the onions or grate them. Why is there a mess here already? We haven't even done anything. All right, first things first, get started with the onions. Do you want to do that or do you want me to I'll direct you as the head chef of this kitchen? I want to do it, chef. Let's get peeling. You excited? Yep. Two chef's dream. Lovely stuff and we're done. That was quick. You already know what I've got. All right, bring it in. All right, where do we put this? Onion bowl. It says onion bowl in Swedish. Ikea onion bowl. Get her away. Can't be next to onion. Get out of here, kid. Skedaddle. Okay, so what we need to do now is um, get the bowl nice and hot with the oil. Yeah, we need to add oil here, add the onions. So we're gonna get these two. We're gonna put them. Big, big. Hey, chef, what are we doing, chef? We wanna add some oil, vegetable oil. Let's open it up. This is fresh. Fresh from where? From the olive. We wanna <laughs> add this in. Decent amount, you know, not too much, not too little. Let that heat up for a bit. Wanna get the meat, open the packaging. You know I'm so hungry, I can eat this. I've eaten raw meat before. I don't know how I didn't die, bro. Why did you do that? I wanted to be a lion. Anyway, I don't know if this is hot enough, but we're on a tight schedule. So, onions in. Oh, it just didn't sizzle. Wait, let's pretend it sizzled. <laughs> Alright, and I have that in there. We're gonna add some butter as well, so. Wait, why is this the packaging? This is cool. This is what it would look like if Apple made butter. Hi, butter. Tell me that wasn't satisfying. Crafted by Steve Jobs himself. Alright, so. We want to get a focus here. She's Sorry. not wearing an apron, so she's not part of this video. What we want to do is get a generous amount, say around three kilos. So that should be about four. That is so generous. Put it in, right. add a bit more. Now we want to mix that all in. Where's the wooden thing? The wooden spoon. I had it somewhere. Pissan, who puts wooden spoons in there? Who puts wooden spoons in there? All right, now I'm gonna give it a nice little general mix up. Just a quick little dig, 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 dig. And what we also want to do, we wanna add the meat to it as well. So slap the meat in. There we go. You didn't wash your meat. We're gonna add some salt, we want some pepper. There we go. Now we wanna give it a little mix up. And what we wanna do is just wait for it to get a little bit brown. We're not trying to cook it here. We just want it to get a, a tiny bit cooked on the outside, get a little bit brown. Sear. Is that what it's called? Sear. Sear. No, because we're not searing it. Because sear. searing is when you like fry it on high heat, innit? Sear. Yeah, <laughs> sear no more. Gonna keep that there for a bit, let it sear. It's not a word. Next step. Let's see the head chef notes. Add tomato puree after the meat is brown. And then add coriander. I like how everything's just set up on the table here. Grab what we need straight away. Get to the kitchen. Get cooking. Come with me. By the way, like the video. I'm, I'm thinking of... We do I'm thinking of doing something like this. Okay. All right, look at that. As you can see, what's happening to the meat? The meat's been browned a little bit. Make sure it's got that all round brownish look. And then we want to add our what, Faisal? Our tomato puree. I said our what, Faisal, like I was quizzing you. It's because I forgot what we were supposed oh. to add. We're going to add our tomato puree. 
Look at that. Oh, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Wait, are you sure? It looks like too much. Okay, I'll take off this much. There we go, look at that, nice and red. Red is the color of? Danger. Now we need to get some coriander. So quickly, come in. This is actually a speed run, I just clocked. It is currently 4.50. So we got people coming over in about two hours and we just started. Some coriander, chop it up really quickly. Look at that. All right, so now we're gonna throw this coriander in. There we go. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, why does it smell nice already? We just started, relax. All right, there we go. I think this pot is too small, but it's fine. We're gonna try and make do, because I don't have the big one. You know, the one we have at home, it's like made out of mud. <coughs> so now we need to add the chopped tomatoes. Get a lot and friggin' loaded, dude. Look at him go. Yeah, yeah, just do the whole thing. All right, give it a little mix up. Oh, this is coming along very nicely. Smell-wise, smell-wise, it's coming along very nicely. Okay, so now add some carrots. I think this is too many carrots. This is just carrot juice. We're gonna keep the carrots for the tajin, but we're not gonna add it into the shorba because it's already half full. What we do need to add though is um, ras al hanwood. Oh, it's actually called ras al hanwood. Yeah. Do you wanna translate that for us? Head of shop. You add that in. Use it to your heart's content, mate. We added some cumin, which is this. One cinnamon stick. You just pop this in. Smell it. Yeah, gone. Smells of cinnamon. What? That smells of cinnamon. Cinnamon. We added water to the kettle to make it hot um, and then we're gonna add that to the shorba and that should be shorba done like we should just leave that to one side how many babies should i add i don't even know what these do look at that chef why are we heating the water so can boil yeah. all right kettle should be done so what we're gonna do is add the water in dinga, dinga, dinga. i don't know how much that look at that that is looking like shorba that is shorba Bro, it smells of shorba, you know? No way. No, but like, I sometimes no surprise way. myself. No way, it smells of shorba. I sometimes You would have thunk it. Shut Okay, what's, what are we doing next, Faisal? Uh, tajin pan. No, okay. we're doing burek. We need to cook. We're gonna put this at the back. Okay, yeah, we've left the shorba to sit now. We put it on low heat, put a lid over it. That's done, that's out of the way. Well done. We actually got the first thing out of the way. We've got two more things to do now. It's currently 5.15. Our first guest is coming in an hour and 45 minutes. So for the burek, we need um, to chop onions. Guys, should we do a competition? This is what's easy better cooking. Cook off. No, you know what we should do? Cooking's unfair because there's certain things that I cook that you don't cook, and there's certain things that you cook. Like if, if we had a steak competition, Faisal would he would cook me because I just don't cook steaks. But and then if we had something like, <laughs> like porridge, I would do it. I don't know if you can see my eyes. Why am I like this? Is... Okay, so we've got our onions. Now we're gonna go to the pan area. So can you just pan the camera? Move okay. me this way, guys. No, 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 this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you moving it so slow? <laughs> dude, epic fail, dude, epic fail. Okay, there we go. We're gonna use my one of my favorite pans from IKEA. Put this here. Gonna put it on a decently high heat. Go like that. So this time what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the onions. Ooh! Sizzle, sizzle. Oh, that smell of onions. Okay, so now I present to you facial chopping garlic. Teleportation. You know, it's nice to just be silent sometimes. Cause we were quiet for a good, what, like a minute? But that felt like 10 minutes. That was crazy, right? I need to stop talking. <laughs> yes. This is really nice to not talk. Wow. All right, garlic's done. Mm -hmm. I want to continue sitting in silence, you know? But we need to cook. It's 5.30. Sitting down is a luxury we can't afford. Okay, there we go. We added some butter. Oh yeah, let's check on the shot bar. Why is it bubbling so much? It's meant to be low heat. It's meant to do the tunnel. Okay, so now we're going to add the minced meat. You ready? Yeah. No, don't plop it in. Just like put it in like nice and smoothly. Yep. <laughs> Alright, now add the seasoning. And in the meantime, I'm gonna mash it up. Right, what did it do to you? This is giving it a nice little mix. Oh, I'm so thirsty, man. So the minced meat is browning. Um, oh you done? He wants to, he wants to be head chef. So, okay, pass the bulgur first Look at that. Touch. Imagine it exploded. Oh. So this is the bulgur. We're gonna add this in 15 minutes before the shorba is done. The issue is I don't know when the shorba is done. So we're gonna have to... Oh wait, how can you tell if the shorba is done? We're gonna try and taste the meat. We're not gonna taste the meat. <laughs> I forgot I was past it. This is what the minced meat is looking like now. This is gonna be for the burek. It's almost done. So now whilst that's finishing up, I'm gonna set up by the table and we're gonna start rolling the burek. Minced meat done. Let's get on to the next workstation which is down there. Oh, and add the bulgur. Let me add the bulgur now. Which Eastern European country did this originate in? Romania. The bulgur reaction. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add mashed potato into here we're gonna add some olives and then we're gonna add some pickles okay so we're gonna put the mash in here all right so put that there the background is really nice you know it's your house of course you're gonna say it's nice guys in it in it like the whole background give him like, validation look, look plants there that plant there like the the fits like we actually made an effort for this video yeah we did and we're cooking during the day not at 2 a.m which yeah. is rare damn we got 40 minutes until someone comes all right so we're gonna get our olives seedless seedless and our pickles as well it's so satisfying listen listen Alright. Ah, <sighs> got me in a bit of pickle. 
No, I, I opened it. Anyways, what we're gonna do now is chop the onions. Chop the what? Oh, man, I'm tired. Yeah, chop yeah, the yeah. olives. Yeah, 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 let me do it. Oh, I'll get the pickles out. Everything's chopped up, so we're gonna add the onions. Oh, why do I keep saying onions? Because it begins with O. Oh, let me take over. All right. We're gonna add the onions. <laughs> we're gonna add the olives and the pickles. Can't really tell, but the... <laughs> That's the pickles. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because now people are going to believe you actually ate something. Oh, you know what yeah. that? They're going to pretend to care, even though it has no effect on their lives. All right, now we're going to mix it all up to get... Wait, can you see? So it looks like now. Damn, wrong house arm, bro. All right, mix, mix. So now, Damn. this is all mixed up. I think we added too much uh, olives. I got it this time. Olives and pickles, but... <laughs> you have to take them in here. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use these to... <laughs> and put it on. <laughs> All right, so we've got these pastry liners, spring roll pastry. Pinch. So what we want to do is go like this, listen to the sound. Look at that, it's like skin. All right, guys, so what we want to do is grab a little bit, so about three thumbs worth, new unit of measurement. Go like that, slap that on like that. We're going to roll it once, and on the first roll, damn, I forgot a step. You want to add the laughing cow. So <laughs> we're going to put it on there. Don't now be gonna... afraid to get your hands dirty. Go on. Thank Don't you. Don't be... I just in case they didn't get the first one. Okay, so now we want to shape it. So we'll go once like that. Cuboid shape. No, it's not meant to be cuboid. It's meant to be cylindrical. Cylindrical. Cylindrical shape. 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 After the first like tuck and roll, you want to go bang. You want to go tuck this way and then a tuck that way. Look at that. So now they meet perfectly in the middle. And then you go one more tuck and then one more tuck. And look at that. Oof. Yours is I'm good. So that was actually good. Oi. That so here rack. we got our boo rack. So what we're going to do now is make this transform into this. And we're going to do that by doing a very, very quick transition thing in three, two, one. <laughs> you thought something was going to happen, in it? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Why are you screaming at my audience? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Guys, I'm trying to hit half a million subscribers by the end of the year. So if you could go like, subscribe, and share this with your mother-in-law, that would be great. Uh, look how good this one looks. I think this is the, a perfect burek. Oi, we forgot the shorba. Okay, so we forgot the shorba. So this is us panic running to it. Okay, it doesn't, I mean, it's bubbling, but it's not like, it's not harmful bubbling, is it? We're going to add the bulgur in now because this seems like it's ready. I don't know how much bulgur to add. We're going to just go... All right, I think that should be enough, that should be enough. All right, now we need to set a 15 minute timer. Wait for that, we're almost done with the bure. So we have these, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 11, 12. The thing is, Justin is on the way. He's gonna be here in just in like 15 minutes. No! <laughs> we got our first guest here at what time is it? 7 p.m. He's actually, he's on time. Justin, your timing is great, bro. I said 7 p.m. because I thought everyone was gonna come late. Justin, do you wanna sit down and introduce yourself? So what do you do? I cook, I make food. And I talk. This what cuisine are you doing then? Like this is Algerian traditional home food. Oui. So you got you got the tagine. You got what's this called again? The shorba. Shorba. You got the this thing. What's this called again? Burek. Burek. And then what else you got? Got drinks. <laughs> you are proper ambitious with this, you know. When it comes to doing stuff like this, it takes time. I'm like Susan Torrent. So basically, I didn't ask anyone their dietary requirements. So we found out that Justin is uh, <laughs> lactose intolerant, but he thinks ahead and he actually bought his lactose, lactose pills. So we're gonna get them. We're gonna grind yeah, yeah. them and we're gonna put what, Justin lactose in pills in there. Yeah, we're gonna put. Him Specific, like, Are we? So it can counteract the cheese in it. That's not how it works, bro. Algerian food is like similar to like Moroccan food, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We're talking bad. We need to cook something. And then you got fr you got Fridays as well. Yeah. Hey, so let's cook. Let's cook. These really. are wham as yeah, well. Wham That's cup. not gonna help. Yeah. Now nah, you got the right location. There. Yeah. Look at that. I feel like a chiropractor. Okay. There we go. You know this is the first time me and Justin have met. Literally the first time. It feels like we've done this before. Right, let's do the next one. These chickens are huge. Yeah, they injected them with lip filler. BBL chicken. Yeah. Do you think that'll be enough for five people? More than enough. Cool. There, you get one second to look at them. Okay, they're gone. We're gonna use this part where Justin's chopping onions to remind you to go and quickly like the video because it does help, I think. I'm ready. When you put vegetables in a pot, yeah, put salt in it straight away. Why? It'll cook quicker. It softens the onions. Oh! Scientific things. We need to be quick, bro. It's a cooking speed, bro. He was like, oh, yeah, change. I'm not going to have to cook or anything. Just come and eat. I'm good, though. I'm happy to cook, man. <laughs> what, 30 minutes, apparently. Um, so we got guest number two arriving now. Damn, what are you saying, man? Damn. <laughs> oh, shoot, oh, oh, You got a cat in it? Oh, hey, I love you cats. Like, All right, so basically what we've got here, yeah, is oh. food that is yet to be prepared. But when we put everything down, it's going to start making a bit more sense. Justin was meant to come and, and eat in it, but... <laughs> What? Phones on while you're recording? That's uh, crazy. Hello. So oh, number one. Oh, hey. Actually, it smells good. Oh, yeah, the team. Nothing what? is ready. The only thing that's ready is uh, the short bar. Yeah. How are you saying, brother? I'm Justin, brother. Yeah, 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 Nadim, bro. Nice to meet Nadim. Oh, yeah. Right, cool. Yeah, let's put the chicken in, sir. Olive, massive. Mix it. Yeah. 
See that little brown black part there? Yeah, that's where the flavor comes from, man. Oh, yeah, this is two packs. It's like a family of four living in a. This is micro. Yo, have you got any other salt? What's the different types of salt? Regular I've got salt. dishwashing salt. I'm actually just standing here and just is cooking. Right, we're gonna slap the burek and hopefully we're gonna give this like what five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes to cook. Quickly, quickly. Should we just throw the whole thing in? Have you had dates before, guys? Wait, wait, wait. What? what? They grow on trees. Huh? Wait, what? Dates or what you go on when you're in a relationship? Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Wait, wait, what? Shit. Oh, cheers then. <laughs> this you can cheers your seed. Oh, this cheers. was a serious one. That's actually nice. On oh, my life is the best day I've had in my life. After like, all four. I'm not even joking. How was your experience fasting last year? Honestly, God, it was easier than I thought it would be, but... The... <laughs> It was easier than I thought it would be, but there were some days where I thought, oh my gosh, like, I thought my mouth was just drying up, the back of my tongue stunk one day, I said, wow! The hunger for me, you know, that hunger hit me hard, because my stomach in the morning just got ew, ew. I play semi-pro football, it's so like football three days a week, if you know me, I'm just better energetic sometimes, you get me? There was days where I was a bit, like, slow, I won't lie to you, though. But you know what's difficult, like, shout out to the mums, the ones cooking, because I remember there was one time my whole family were fasting and it was making, like, pie, and we couldn't eat it, we couldn't taste it, innit? but it was just so, it was right there, innit? And like, that's when it's hard to do, or even just physical activity, like people working jobs in the sun, like it's not easy at all. All right guys, all the food has now been cooked. We're gonna present it to our guests so that they can now taste and rate it. Oh yeah, let me present it to the audience first. Yeah, we're here, we've got some burek, we've got some parsley on top, or coriander, one of them, they both, they both kind of look the same. How do you say it? Parsley. No, you said burek. Oh, burek. <laughs> burek. So this is the start for today. So you had your dates, that was to replenish your energy. But now we've got this, there we go. We're gonna add some lemon juice as well. Put your little finger on it, or ah. It's a shit. Right. Open up again. Do you guys like lemon? I've never had lemon on, on like hot food. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start for the starters. What we're gonna do is you eat one. Why is it not good? You try it one by one, and then you give your take on it, like and then that will. <laughs> All right, there we go. I can't lie, man. Someone grab it. Go, 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 go. Grab, grab it. Do you want background music? Wow. Does it feel like awkward? This is amazing. Yeah. Like, Amazing, that's a big word. It tastes like lasagna wrapped up. What would you rate out of 10? I'll give it a 8.5. I don't want to go too high. 8.5 is high. Yeah. That's a first plus yeah. extra. Fair enough then, isn't it? I'm right. gonna continue to devour it. You man, you man grab your. No, we want to watch you eat, man. Alright, oh, go on. Should I break the pyramid or something? What's going on? Um, I don't know, Egyptians. Let us know what you think in the comments. Alright. Just testing the consistency. Mm. Go ahead. Smell, man. Smell? Mm. Mm. Okay. Ooh, the crunch. Mm. What is nice about it? I didn't expect it, you know. Why didn't you expect it? I can't lie, I thought your food was gonna be dead. Ooh, is that cheese in there? Oh, I need to get my pills, wait, wait. Oh, you're <laughs> lactose. I'm lactose. lactose. But yeah, I won't even lie to you. This is your own side. You're right. Mm. This is a good like, For a starter, yeah. this is good. Like, I will eat that whole lot. I think it's a moment. I'm a lap Wait, can I see the pills? You might not do drugs. Oh, this is quite cool. What uh, is it though? What, lactose toast? Yeah. Did you, you don't have a lot of toast. Oh, you lack toast? Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, that's a, that, no, no, something happened because it was good and then it went, it went a bit. Why am I nervous? Now, I've never had something like this. Mm, mm. Right. Obviously, I'm used to the spring rolls, same pastry, but you bite into it, the meat is there, mm. flavours of cumin coming through, mm. the cheese is <laughs> creamy too. Through. Sorry. The cheese is creamy too, which is a nice little balance. And then the parsley for the garnish, nah. You know what, yeah, I can't lie, I doubted you big time. Big time, like, I, saw you, I saw you frying it, I was thinking, this is going to be oily, this isn't going to be good. This is actually a very, very good dish. Does it come with a little sauce? Because if it had a little dip part, right? no. I'm gonna be honest with you, innit? Oh. I thought after this, man's going to my nearest chicken shop, grabbing myself three wings, and burger, and shit. No, but it's because I've never ever tried your food, but I can honestly say I'm confident in saying that you are chef. I'm gonna make this. You're gonna see. Oh. A, you're gonna see a video. You're no gonna see me making this. this is good. You know that seal of approval that you just got. Man said the chef is gonna make it and create content. That lemon is nice as well, you know. It's a little bit of a tan that adds a bit of depth to it. You just need that sauce. That's what you need. I'm gonna grab another one. I'm gonna grab another one. But I don't wanna be. I, I, I don't want to be greedy. Well, if you had a sauce, I swear I would have given you a high nine. Yeah, but yeah. I'm, I'm going to stay with the 8.5. Yeah. Right. Moyo, what was yours? 8.5. Yeah. Wait, everyone 8.5? Yeah, no, I'm going to stay with that. 24, 5, 10, 15, then we got 25.5. That's good. Oh, 30. 30. Yeah. No, I this is solid. man. Just get the sauce there, you're there, man. Yeah. Moyo, what do you think it was lacking? The sauce, that was it. That's why I said it. Did you say it before you started? Yeah, I said it. No, I said it. You said it first? Yeah. Oh, you said it first? Yeah. Ah, okay. I mentioned the sauce. That's why I said it. Did you say it because Justin said it? No, I said the sauce. Oh, you said it first? Yeah. Ah, okay. I mentioned the sauce. I do apologize. Yeah. 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 Apology video with tears coming out. No, I can't lie. I need to take a trip to Algeria. Wait, what? Next video idea. We go to Algeria. Don't say that because you know I'll take the trip. I'll buy the ticket, bro. Tomorrow. Just as. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Faisal, how many did you have? No, 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 you eat, bro. You might have been fussing. I ain't fussing. Yeah. Well, like, you know. And it literally, bro. Yeah. Same one, bro. Wallah, I'm taking it. <laughs> 
I can't lie, to be honest with you though, yeah. isn't it? I'm the type of guy to have chips as their main meal. <laughs> yeah. Well, just chips back over. Yeah, just chips back over. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna do some shot Disclaimer, I don't know if this is done correctly, innit? Should never be disclaimer in the food. But okay, oh, this is shot I think I added too much burger. 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 What's burger. 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 How do you say? I was talking about stealing burger, bro. So I added too much burger. It's because in, in Arabic it's called burger. Tell us again. Burger. 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 See, interesting. I've never had burger in a seat before. So how do we eat this one with our hands, yeah? You know, we should all have a bite at the same time. Well, with the meat, yeah. No one's vegetarian. Would you eat cat? Maybe next. Would I eat cat? In the right context, yeah. Nah, nah, Terry, nah. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, you might as well do a countdown, man. Wait, are you sure you don't mind cat, by the way? What? <laughs> Your cat even stopped for a second. Alright, we ready. You actually do a countdown on my type on my phone. Bro, that's a bit much, man. Alright, right, three, two, one. Gone. I like spicy food, isn't it? Okay. There's no spice in it. But no, the meat's nice though. It has potential. I think it needs spice and salt. Yeah, That's yeah. what it needs. No, I think it's good, you know. There wasn't enough salt, but it just it tastes like what my mum makes, I'll be real. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a big That's compliment. A big, yeah, big no, because I love my mum's sugar. That's the mum's you oh. I really like putting lemon in it. I don't know why you don't put lemon in everything, but I like it. Alright, so, not the main. Yeah, hit me. How much food is there left? Chicken, but the only issue is. The only uh, issue is. Oh, why is it chicken in the head? I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of. Um, what do you put it? Shoba. Shoba. Uh, the, the bowl, that one. Yeah, yeah, that one put it in my mouth. I'm thinking it's gonna cool in me or something. It reminds me of like noodles. I don't eat noodles. Noodles are so scary. I can't lie because it can just go down and then it's limitless. It will just keep going. <laughs> Man, this is what I can't see. Like, I can't lie. Like, I one lot. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to cut today short. Catch you soon, man. Did you say bye to the camera? <laughs> Love in it. <laughs> uh, so right. this is our final dish. Right. We're gonna just put that there and we're gonna start plating it up for our guests. Uh, it looks amazing. We'll find out whether you season the whole chicken or just the skin. Well, let's find out if it's cooked first. Oh. <laughs> Let me just get one though. Are you not hungry? Let me taste it first, innit? I'm not gonna eat it. lot to this. Uh, our ginger fries and we have to go home and order some food. So these are the dishes we've got so far. I just had an olive, man. That's <laughs> kind of mm. Do you also try first? My well, fire's already dried, isn't it? Just go for it. Mm. Like I said before, you season the skin, not the inside. Well, it was Nigerian, isn't it? I had the uh, Nigerian jollof once, mm. and it had that, that tough chicken. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you chicken. don't want that. You don't want that. Boiled chicken. The bro. spice in that was. I think, cool. I think Nigerians would do it, man. With the spice levels. The spice. spice. <laughs> Your jollof is. is Spicy. Uh, yeah, no, the chicken's good though. Yeah, I don't even like it. The olives might be nice. No, I don't even like the olives. Alright, guys, busy. Oh, As you can see, we finished all our food. So, we rate the food? Oh, yeah, I forgot. We didn't rate the bulgur soup. Yeah, yeah you're my boy, so I have to be frank with you. Gotta be frank, gotta be Lampard. So, who? Yeah. Yes. So, who? Bo the bov. What? You said bovro. Oh my gosh. Bovro. I'm gonna rate that one a, a hot four. Ooh, four. Though. Yeah, but the meat was good though. Can we do it ten. separately then? If we're talking about the meat, the meat was a good 6.57 out of 10. Just needed a bit more spice. But a bit more. No. Was that? Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, the soup was. Um, anyway, you? Okay. I'd say I'd give it a five, you know. I'd give it a five. I liked what it was doing. I said it had potential. I think the salt just wasn't there, really. I can't like the bulgur and the soup. Like, I think it was something I would definitely eat. Oh, yeah, the meat was tender as well. What type of meat was it? it was Lamb leg. Lamb cat leg. Maybe like 10 weeks from now. Kenzie won't be in the videos no more. Okay, so with three minutes left on the SD card, I rate. I rate. I'm not angry. Sorry. I'll rate for Nadim as well. <laughs> <laughs> said 10. I'll start fan, I'll say 10. Do you want to finish it quick? He's no, he said it was exactly like the one. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. his mum reminded him. That's about the more. biggest compliment you can get. She reminded me of safety and love. So I don't remember that. To, <laughs> <laughs> <Even, even, even laughs> to evoke that much uh, emotion yeah. within a person through your food, that is like. But anyways, next thing. <laughs> What's it actually called? Tajin zitun. Tajin zitun. Tajin, which is like I don't know what tajin means. It means hot pot, I think. I don't tajin, know if that's true, but it's the pot that you cook it. In. Okay, the tajin chicken was. It was actually quite good. I just like a bit more spice in it. I think the the skin was. Seasoned. The inside wasn't much seasoned, but it was still quite nice. So I'm gonna rate it a six out of ten. I like the olives though. I don't, I'm not an olive guy. I don't like olives, but the olives were good still. Oh yeah, olives. that's what zitun means in Arabic. It means olives. It's like olive to zitun. Zitun. Yeah, yeah, quick. Oh, bro. That was terrible. It's zitun. You say the African boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The chicken was alright, you know. It was like slightly over, slightly, just a small, small amount. But the flavor was alright. Like I said, a bit of marination there is needed. But we didn't have no time off like that. Well, you didn't have no time. Wow. I had to do damage control and yeah. that one. Yeah, I liked it. It was good. Gonna give it a 7 out of 10. That borek, though. The yeah. borek. Okay, so the best thing was. Yeah. What, that was that the first one? Yeah. yeah. The borek was boreking. Like, okay. was <laughs> that one was sweet. What's going on, Eid? I don't know. Congratulations, anyone. Oh, yeah, Eid Mubarak. Get me. Eid Mubarak 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> 
I hope you had a blessed month, you know what I mean? Hope you got closer to Allah. No, but for real, thank you guys for coming, especially you, Justin. Because Moya, Moya walked like two minutes, two and a half minutes. I came up with the wind, good. Justin cooked. Looked after him, so good, lived in Birmingham. Nah, hey, follow these on all their socials. Nah, man, got forget us, forget like us. You. What? Yeah, you forget? Got, man, subscribe, turn that post notification on. The day Make show, <laughs> you get me? Did I just get hijacked? Wait, wait, how many subscribers are now? 280. I'm not sleeping till we hit 300k. I'm not sleeping. Alright, so Moyo is gonna crash here and I'm gonna make sure that. <laughs>